Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the open folder dialog. So just like the open file dialog, the open folder dialog opens up a window that lets you browse through the folders and select what you want but instead of selecting a file you're going to select a folder which is uh, let's say a folder to save something to um, if they're not saving a particular file at that moment. So let's go ahead and create a new project and I'll show you how to use it. So we'll select Windows Forms application and we will call it Folder Dialog. Go ahead and click OK and wait for that to load. Okay, so once it's loaded, we'll resize the form sum. And let's come into our toolbox and we will add two buttons. We got button one and button two. Now for button one, we're going to set the text to write file we will set it to button right and now for button 2 we want it to the name to be button folder and we want to set the text to change folder okay so now I'll come back over here to our toolbox and we will add two text boxes so we've got text box 1 and text box 2 so text box 1 is going to be the title of our text file and the text box 2 is going to be uh, the contents so we'll set the name of text box 1 to text title and for text box 2 we want text contents so now we're going to add a folder uh, browser dialog so we'll go ahead and add that right in there and you can see it creates an object of it for us and we can change the name of this if we want so let's go ahead and double click on change folder and so now that we're in our code for form one what we need to do is let's just make a variable um, that can store the path of the um, selected path that they got from the folder browser dialog now you can access this directly from the folder browser dialog one but I like storing it in another variable it just makes it a little bit easier so we'll just type folder browser dialog one dot show dialog and after they've uh, shown the dialog or once they click OK what we want to do is get what they selected so we'll do string path is going to be equal to folder browser dialog one dot and you can see here that we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we can use we just want to use selected path so now that we've got the path of where they want to save their files let's go ahead and double click on write file and we will just write the files for them so we'll type system.io.file so we're going to use the long version of this so that we don't have to import system.io and now what we want to do is write all text now for our first first argument it's going to be the string so we're just going to use string path now we're going to have to specify the name of the file so we'll just add a backslash and now we'll add the title so text title dot text so what this is going to do is going to get the path that they selected add a backslash to um, just separate it because everything is separated with a backslash folders um, and then if you select the file in that it's got the folder name backslash the file name and then we're going to use the title of what they selected and then we're just going to add an extension to the file so we'll make it a dot text file so now for the contents we're going to use text contents dot text so it's going to write all the text from this text box right here to the path that they selected from change folder and it's going to use the title that they used up here so let's run this and hopefully we won't get any errors now let's go ahead and change the folder now you can see that this is a little bit different or a lot different than the um, save file dialog or the open file dialog um, but it works essentially the same way so let's go ahead and open up computer we'll drop down Sam's exter external hard drive and we'll just go ahead and select that go ahead and click OK so now we'll type we'll title it apples uh, we'll add some stuff in it so and now we'll just go ahead and write the file now we can also write this 
uh, a couple more times. So we'll just title it YouTube and then we can write the file again. Now if we come in here into my computer we can open up my external hard drive and you can see that we've got YouTube and Apples and this is my file from a while ago we can just delete that and if we open up Apples you can see that we get NVIDIA, Intel and AMD, the stuff that we added. And if we open up YouTube we also get the same thing because we left it the same inside of the text box. So go ahead and practice a little bit with open folder dialogues. Um, and once you got familiar with them and you're not going to forget how to use them, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.